Hi, I'm Kimbra, and these are my marquee memories. I went to the Big Day Out Music Festival specifically to see the Mars Volta. I was 14 years old and I'd never been to a music concert. And the Mars Volta were my favorite band. Cedric Bixler Zavala um, was one of the most influential singers of my whole career. <laughs> I'd never seen anyone just lay it all down like that. They came on like an hour late and I was like, that's so punk rock. And the dancing and the splits and the, honestly, the closest thing I've seen to James Brown. Um, and they really aren't artists like that anymore. I cried, <laughs> which is quite a visceral response. I think seeing Cedric, I realized that you could embrace both a very feminine style of performing and being incredibly masculine at the same time. I've always been really fascinated in what it's like to explore those two energies in my own music. It becomes actually a fantastic contrast. For me, Kendrick Lamar is the artist of our generation. This wordsmith, this poet, this prophet. The show at the Barclays Center was sold out, but the owner of Electric Lady was able to swing me some tickets last minute. You know, Kendrick has this incredible art of restraint that you don't see as much in kind of super conventional hip hop. He started the show with these dancers who were doing such unexpected movement. Um, so often in pop music or mainstream music, there's a sense of kind of more is more. So these dancers would just sit on one movement, just going round and round and round. And when they exited the stage, Kendrick appears at the piano with a puppet sitting above him, mimicking all the words. It's just such a powerful sentiment. And to hold the room in silence, to have that kind of command, you know? So I have immense respect for him. Almost everything I approach in my music is somewhat informed by Kendrick Lamar. My third favorite ever concert was D'Angelo performing in New Zealand in 2016. Damn, man, he came out with the craziest band. The drums are mixed so loud, <laughs> the voice is mixed so quiet, and the guitars are mixed like super hard panned and just like, it's just so daring. And I just love that when artists are just like, nah, I'll do my way. And I knew every word and I just got to witness this incredibly gifted human being with such intricate command of his voice. His heart is just wide open to everyone. And I felt like I got to see something that I hadn't seen in a performer before. It's so sexy just to be that open. Thanks for listening to my Marquee Memories. You can check out my album, Idols and Vices Volume 1, out now.